really I was at the top 6%. This is my diploma. Hey guys, how's it going? Dr. Kyle here. Uh, I just wanted to share with you a very momentous moment, but I'm really, really extremely happy and grateful for this achievement that I've had. I am now officially credentialed with an orthopedic clinical specialist, uh, which means that I've been granted the credential of being specializing in orthopedics. Um, I am now, there is about 575,000 physical therapists here in the United States, and there's only 6% of people who have this credential. Again, there's 575,000 physical therapists in America, and I am, luckily I was at the top 6%. This is my diploma. Uh, it says, that's my name, Anthony Yenko. And then that says orthopedic clinical, orthopedic physical therapy. And it is under the American Board of Physical Therapy uh, Specialists. As far as being an orthopedic clinical specialist, it means that I can diagnose um, patients and who have body aches and pains. For example, you come to the clinic and you say, that you have you know, back pain, low back pain, or neck pain, I can differentially diagnose and pinpoint the root cause of your problem quickly and efficiently more than I would say like a generalist or something because I took more classes and I, I'm credentialed. And sometimes without having to use an MRI or imaging or an x-ray, uh, you can come in and then I can help you right away without uh, having to go through your primary doctor. You can just go straight to me you tell me what your symptoms are, I'll review your past medical history, and I can officially know what you what you have um, by exercises or breathing techniques or soft tissue work. So I'm extremely grateful for, uh, for this opportunity. This is my other credential that I have. Uh, it means that I am a champion performance specialist. Uh, this means that I was credentialed by Mike Reynolds. He's the president uh, physical therapist of the Boston Red Sox and Chicago White Sox baseball teams here in America. I hope this resonates with young men and women who are trying to pursue their goals and dreams as well. I hope you too can find your true north, that you too can do it, especially to young brown, uh, young, young brown men and women, immigrants, people who look like me, Southeast Asian, who are really trying to pursue their goals and dreams. I hope this can motivate you as well to, to push, to, to keep moving, keep on pushing despite the obstacles that you are going through. And I'm really thankful for my parents, uh, my grandparents who have supported me through thick and thin for not giving up on me. And also big shout out to my girlfriend, Marion, What's up, girl? For being there for me and believing in me through the my lowest and my highest of highs. So thank you so much. I'm thankful for this country for allowing me and giving me this opportunity to to pursue the highest of uh, highest credential that I could ever have as a doctor of physical therapy. I'm thankful for America for its laws and philosophies. For and I think this is the epitome of the American dream that you can be whoever you want to be as long as you work hard for it. Keeping your glass half full and being vulnerable enough to, to ask for help and helping others as well. So I'm really thankful for the founding fathers of this country for allowing me to pursue my, my goals and dreams and giving me my unalienable rights to pursue life, liberty, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness, which I think is a, uh, which I'm experiencing right now. And as far as happiness is concerned, I think as long as you make the right decisions in life, uh, it'll most likely lead to your happiness. And I hope you find that. And uh, if you make the wrong decisions in life, most likely it'll lead to misery and, and, and sadness. 
So I hope you find your true north. And I hope this inspires you to keep on trucking and not give up. The one uh, silver nugget that I've experienced as well in, in college was uh, letting go of desirable things to pursue your goals and dreams, to let go of pleasurable things for the time being because you have a long-term goal that you want to achieve. I'm Filipino. We're very close-knit with my family. I'm, I was very, I'm very close to my parents, very close to my grandparents. And in college, I had to leave them because I had to go to grad school. And for, for American people, though, it was probably pretty easy. And so when I moved out of the house, I felt alone and scared. I went to grad school in Pomona in Los Angeles. So right now, my parents and my family, we all live in the Bay Area, California. So if you look at the map, uh, Los Angeles is about six hours away from, from the Bay Area. The Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland. So if you drive about six hours south, you'll get to L.A. So that's where I went to school. So I went to school there. I missed my parents. I missed my sister. I missed my cousins. Every There was a three-day weekend. I always wanted to go home. But I had to sacrifice my my enjoyment and my ability to be with my family because I had to study for an exam. There were also times where my friends would text me to go out to party in L.A. You know, I was a young guy. I had to let that go as well because there would be an exam the morning after. So I learned to let go of all those things. Sadly enough, I also lost relationships, friendships. It was because I chose this career path over being with a partner. No regrets. I'm really happy that uh, I chose what I chose. I think pursuing your goals and dreams, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon. It's not a, it's not a sprint. So even if your steps are slow, your, your pace is slow, your steps are shorter than others, just keep pushing. Don't compare yourself to other people. Make sure that you continue your journey. You have your own journey, and the last thing you want to do is compare yourself to others so it doesn't bring you down. I cannot be thankful enough for, well, I think my mom. Uh, she was raised me, uh, raised me well, and I think uh, being a single mom uh, with the help of my grandparents, she moved to this country without without anything, and I had to learn a new language, a new culture, and I I gone through prejudices and racism, and despite all those, I was still managed to to get to where I am because of her and her courage and, and my grandparents' support as well. One thing I also remember back in when I was in grad school, because I did not like going to school, I remember I would wander aimlessly around the, the movie theater. It was Sunday night around shops and just to walk and not be in, in, in school because I dreaded going back to school. But I had to do what I had to do. And those memes you see on the internet about grad school being extremely hard, those are true. Grad school and doctorate school here in America is extremely, really, really difficult. This achievement of mine, again, orthopedic clinical specialist, I managed to pass this. I studied for about three to five months and It was very difficult because it was during uh, it was COVID times and my mental health was not the best. But I've always um, always reverberated what my grand what my grandpa would tell me is this too shall pass. So every day I took every single day, every page, every chapter that I had to study. I just thought of his words that uh, this too shall pass. I'm really thankful for God, my family. Marianne, my partner, and everyone else uh, for kindly supporting me. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment or message me. And YouTube is Dr. Kyle and Instagram is Dr. Uh, Dr. Instagram.com slash Dr. Kyle Co. Just to wrap this up, 
really thankful for this opportunity for, for allowing me to be top 6% in the nation. So I'm really happy about that. I'm really proud. I feel really content of where I am in life right now. I'm really happy. I'm um, having peaceful family, peaceful relationship, and I'm just, just really happy and grateful and proud. And I'm really, really thankful for this country, again, for allowing me to to pursue my goals and dreams and without the government trying to do bad things to me and allowing me to pursue whatever I need to pursue as long as I work hard for it. So thank you, America. Thank you, family. Thank you, God. And to all my friends in Bacolod, salamat sa inyutanan for supporting Dr. Kyle. I wouldn't be with here without you. I hope you find my videos uh, helpful and I hope you find this video inspirational for all young kids, men and women for uh, to, you know, to pursue your goals and dreams that uh, a young brown kid from Bacolod City, Philippines, you can go wherever you want to go as long as you fight for what you believe in and you allow yourself to feel vulnerable for those people and to allow people to that love you and care for you and ask for help when you need to. And if someone needs your help, help them out too. And yeah, I got this pin right here. It says uh, orthopedic physical therapy. So yeah, what's up, baby? Let's go. And show you all my pins here, guys. What is this? Uh, this is the school I graduated at, Western University of uh, uh, Health Sciences. That's uh, Allied Professions, part of American Physical Therapy Association. And that's an angel, I think. Uh, it has to do with Catholicism. I have to review that. And just a preview of my achievements as well. Let me show you all my diplomas. This is me. Uh, it means I'm part of the American Physical Therapy Association, APTA. Boom, 2015, I was part of the American Physical Therapy Association, being a doctor of physical therapy. This is, sorry, my diploma. It says Doctor of Physical Therapy, uh, Western University. That's the grad school I went to. That's the one in Pomona, California. But I'll go over that. That took about three to four years. And this is my undergrad diploma. California State, East Bay. I went to Hayward, California. That took about four years. So total, guys, about 10 to 12 years. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, feel free to reach out. And I miss you all. Philippines, my colored friends, peace. Take care. God bless. Bye.